Hi, and welcome to another Pen Publishing Interactive video. In this video, we'll be covering how to set up email signatures in the Outlook web app, Outlook desktop app, and the Outlook desktop app preview. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with the Outlook web app. So go ahead and open up a new browser and go to outlook.office.com. Once you're signed in, your screen should look something like this. Over in the top right corner, I'm going to go to Settings. Make sure you're on the Mail tab. Go to Compose and Reply. And here you'll see Email Signatures. Now I don't have any email signatures currently created, so let's make a new one. And I'm going to copy and paste in some information here. And let's make a few adjustments. I'm going to bold this text. And I want this to link to our website, so I'm going to highlight it and then insert link. Then go ahead and put in our web address and click OK. And you'll see that this now lights up as blue, indicating that the link has been set. Now to set this email signature for new messages or replies, you would use these drop down boxes here. However, however, you will notice that I don't have an option to select tutorial yet. That's because we need to click save. And now that I've clicked save, you'll notice that I now have the option to set tutorial. And I'll go ahead and do that and then click save again. Now if I close out the settings after clicking save, and then go to new mail you can see that the signature we just created now was automatically applied on this new message next let's move over to the outlook desktop app okay and then once the outlook desktop app is open for you go ahead and go to file options and this should open up all Outlook options. I'm going to go to Mail, and then Signatures over here on the right. Now this interface looks a little bit different from the web app. Uh, first thing you'll want to notice here at the top where it lists your email account, you'll have two options. The one that lists your email address is the cloud version of your account. Essentially it syncs your signature with the cloud. You'll see the tutorial signature we just created is already set up for our Outlook desktop. If you want to make a signature for just your Outlook desktop and you don't want it to sync to the cloud, we'd want to select the second option here, signatures on this device. Now keep in mind if you use this option, you won't have access to the signature on your other devices. And if you want to make a new signature, you can simply hit this new button here, type in the name, and then you'll have a box for this. Simply add in the information you'd like to add. And then one other thing here, make sure you click save. If you want to change for new messages or replies, you choose the option here, just the same as the web app, and then click OK. And click OK again, and now if I open up a new email, it uses the same signature that we created uh, previously from the Outlook web app. Okay, next we're going to move over to the Outlook desktop app preview. And here this is just a pop-up saying that there's some features that aren't fully available yet in the preview build. You're going to notice that the preview desktop Outlook looks very similar to the Outlook web app. However, there are a few differences. If I click the settings icon here in the top right, Make sure you're under the Accounts tab this time, and go to Signatures. And then here is your signatures. If you wanted to make a new one, just click this button. And here you can select existing signatures. In this case, I only have one. And then down here at the bottom, again, you'll have these options for new messages or replies and forwards. Once you've made your changes, click Save. And go ahead and close out of this box. And if I click New Mail, You'll see my signature automatically applies and you're good to go. As always, if you have any questions about the services we provide, feel free to reach us at sales at pinpublishing.com or visit our website at pinpublishing.com. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and until next time.